folks, it's Jimmy here and welcome to the channel. This is gonna be a quick update. We finally arrived here in Xinjiang and it's gonna be day one for our 10 day road trip. I'm super excited and I really wanna share with you what I brought with me on this trip. So I've got my Shimoda back here and let's take a look at what's inside. So I wrapped up all my gears in these protective foams just to make sure they're not moving around too much. There's gonna be an extra layer of shock and vibration absorption. So I brought my Hasselblad here. This is the 50 mil F4, which is around 24, 25 mil in 35 terms. So this is a whitish lens, mainly for landscapes on this trip. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, and this is the 150 mil lens, which is around 75 mil in 35 terms. And it's gonna be my shirt tally on this trip. And um, okay, so my second medium format film camera is the Mamiya 7. Of course, I'm gonna bring it with me because it's super useful on hiking trips as it's really light and compact. All right, so this is actually a F-stop insert. I've put some of the gears here and packed it away in my luggage. Uh, let's see what's inside. All right, so in this leather pouch is the 65 mil lens for my Mamiya 7. And um, I've got a few more lenses here. This is gonna be, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be the 28 mil F2 for my Leica. This is gonna be sort of my walk around and mostly indoor lens. And this is the, the Leica 90 mil F2.8. It's gonna be my long lens on hiking trips for my Leica. And here we have the Leica M3 and the Voilander 50 mil F1.5 Nocturne 2. I've uh, broken my promises not to bring digital cameras because I've got a Leica M10P here. Well, this is gonna be used as a backup camera just in case I need extra ISOs or I ran out of film. So yeah, you can never be too ready. Talking about film, let's take a look at what films I've brought on this trip. So in this big bag here, I've got, I would say about 15 rows of Portra 400, which is gonna be my working horse film throughout the trip. And I've brought some slide films as well. This is the Provia 100F, which I've never shot before to be honest. So I'm super excited to try it out. And there's a few 35 mil films as well, such as the Kodak Vision 3 500T, which I've shown you in one of my previous videos. There's also two rows of um, Ektachrome E100. So I'm most excited about testing out these slide films in good lighting conditions and see how the color would look like. And yeah, that's about it for this quick update.
that is how I spent my first morning in Xinjiang. Taking my time, walking around town, trying to find interesting subject to shoot, and I was positively surprised by how good the color turned out to be on Ectochrome. And it only got better when I moved to Fuji Provia 100F on my medium format cameras. Like many of you, I have always been intimidated by slide films because they need precise exposure and are quite a bit more expensive than color negative films. That was probably why I was quite hesitant to pick them up in the first place. Now knowing what they can do, I think I'm just gonna shoot slide films for the rest of my life. That's why I bought a lot of them. I mean a lot. Ectochrome, Provia, 120 films. Well, if you haven't tried out slide films, I urge you to do that right now and you won't be disappointed. And trust me, they have a lot of latitude in the post as well. I was able to pull out details in the shadows when I accidentally underexposed Provia 100F for two stops. So don't be afraid, just give it a go and see whether you like it. Now this is the first video in my Xinjiang vlog series and I'm not sure whether you guys like short clips like this or if you want to see a little bit more. Please let me know and leave your thoughts in the comments down below and also like usual don't forget to give me a thumb up, share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider doing so, it will help me tremendously. I guess that's it for today's video, I'll see you in the next one.